store right now it's not just to learn one yes you gotta learn the techniques but you have to learn like i guess the social aspects of it and one of uh, um a key point is really learning like negotiation to teach yourself whenever you hear a price to always like flinch or be like eh, you know it doesn't even really matter what the price is so say i say hey how much are those you know sneakers or something and they say oh they're fifty dollars and then i would respond eh, what you know just some type of reaction to the price because then the other person will usually say oh well it's 50 or even sometimes hey i'm saying that people don't negotiate here but what i have i've done that in stores here what some of the sales people will do is they'll say something like oh it's going to be on sale um next week or something like that or i remember back in the day i used to be a huge um i used to shop at the gap a lot and in doing that i would want something i would say oh this is 80 dollars what in the world and then the sales lady would say to me, oh, Thursday is marked down day. Come back on Thursday. It's going to be marked down. So that's what I mean is you're just trying to get the other person to react to see if they will lower the price. So it literally, it doesn't even matter what the price is. Like in your mind, you could have planned to spend $50, right? Like I could really go in there and say, okay, I have $50 to buy a pair of shoes. But if I go in there and they say 50, I'm still going to flinch or be like, what? dollars you know just to see if i can get it lower you know just to see if she tells me oh th th oh these shoes are going to be on sale next week i'll hold them you know because sometimes they'll tell you something like oh i'll hold them in the back for you it's just for you to flinch you know just for you to say what and get a reaction and sometimes and that's how sometimes you'll know if you're really getting the lowest price for something because if you then do that and then they're like, you know, sorry, like, you know, this is the, this is the price. Personally, I find like I was born in Jamaica and my culture, even though I grew up here in the States, my culture, you know, I have a strong influence. My parents are Jamaican and a lot of my community and stuff is West Indian. And what I find is we are more um, like negotiation is, is, is more common. Like if you go into a store um, in Jamaica and they just have, you know, they'll have prices on things, you know, we don't just go into the store um, and pay that price, you know, like, <laughs> you know, we'll say, you know, that's the tourist price is what we would say, right? Because we're saying, oh, this is for someone that, you know, that doesn't live here, that's clueless, that really thinks that's the price. Yeah, price. However, here in the States, you know, if I go, I cannot go into Macy's and, you know, here's a price, $50 to buy something, and I'm, you know, trying to negotiate, oh, hey, look, I'll offer you 30 You know, it doesn't work that way. So a lot of times I find that Americans actually um, really have to learn a lot of negotiation because people feel bad. Like, um, a lot of times people feel bad um, to offer a lower price where it's so common to me or I would hear my parents or, you know, if they say a price is a certain way or, you know, just with anything. Because, um, like, even, like, when I do my rentals and stuff, like, my dad, he always taught me, oh, um, tell them to rent, advertise it for 1500 and then when they come, say, hey, I'll give it to you for 1400 So that's what I'm saying, even though I grew up in the state, you know, the culture is still around you. So he was already not realizing it, but teaching me that, hey, always set myself up to have some room to negotiate. You can use this um, with their seller. So I'm just trying to explain how, you know, negotiation is something that you can use, um, you know, everywhere. I use, so I'm just trying to teach you 
you know how you can also start it because I, like I said I find that like a lot of my American friends or even when I have students that are more born in America that get, wrapping your, getting them to wrap their mind around not just accepting a price that is listed there uh, that hey you don't have to pay that price um, or um, Especially, I think sometimes for black people, we don't want to say, we don't want to ask because we don't want to act like we can't afford it or something like that. But, you know, your value isn't, it's not in your money. Like, even if, even if you have the money, you know, get yourself in a mindset of just because I have the money doesn't, just, just because I have the money for this doesn't mean I want to give you the money for it. You know what I mean? If there's another way that I can get it without giving you my money, it's kind of, you know, the way to think, to think of it. All right not just to think oh I have the money for this so I'm gonna pay like so kind of get your mind around not thinking that way um, thinking more of is there another way that I can get this and keep my money you know <laughs> or something like that but you know without like stealing <laughs> so what I was gonna say is like you're meeting with a seller uh, about coming up with a price you'll say and this is after you've walked the house, you've gone through repairs, you can say, look, um, okay, how much will you accept if, you know, I can pay all cash and close in 10 days? And they'll give you a number, right? And that's when you would flinch and say, they'll say 100000 Oh, they'll say, okay, we'll take 100000 This is an example. And that's when you would say, $100,000? And that's the thing, you don't even have to go into a, an entire explanation. You can just say, what? 100000 and and just be quiet, right? And that's another negotiation tactic is to just be quiet, right? After potatoes. And that 10-pound bag of potatoes costs $400. But then the uh, grocery concierge tells you, that a five pound bag of potatoes costs $400. Well, that would be shocking, right? Because a five pound bag should only cost $200. What I'm saying is that we value what you do, but this rate is uh, unreasonable. So, what do you want to do? I want to resolve this uh, fairly and amicably. And I don't want any bad blood so, it, it was nice negotiating with you, and uh, here is all of your money. Anything, no, no matter how long the silence goes, don't say anything. Let them break the silence, because here is the rule in negotiation. He who breaks the silence first usually loses the, in negotiation. So that's why you want to be... Um, quiet that's why you'll see like um i don't know if you could see do they show stuff like that because a lot of times like when i'm when i'm in negotiations like for higher up vps presence and stuff like that i see them use that one so much it can be a person that i know is outspoken blah 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 they'll go in you know present say what they want to do and then they'll just be quiet and they will not break the silence you know like we'll be sitting there for like we can sit there you know 10 minutes and 10 minutes is a long time of complete silence like in a meeting so i definitely see you know i've seen ceos and i've seen them definitely use that silent where it's just you can hear a pin drop and they will not break the silence right um so that's you know a negotiation technique